Eureka! You guys! You guys, it works! Adding glowstone to a carpenter's flower pot. No, you cannot eat my carpenter's flower pot, you goat. Does work. Look at this. <gasps> That's so awesome! Do you know, do you know what you can put into this flower pot? You can add, you can add dirt. And you know what you can put on top of that dirt, my friends? This, this is truly groundbreaking. This is truly, it changes everything. It changes absolutely everything. All right, the Panama Queen. Let's use this as our example. Into the dirt in the flower pot you can place. Flowers! Yes! Oh my gosh, I had no idea I could be decorating with glowstone flower pots as a light source everywhere for so long now. This is going to change everything about how I decorate this place. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting. I am Zookeeper Siri and we are currently in the process of expanding our peafowl exhibit. Uh, the peafowl gardens actually, where you can come and enjoy a absolutely delicious cup of uh, Sakura blossom tea. You could even settle in with some nice peafowl. Oh gosh, what else do we have in here? Let's actually go check. Cause I'm actually pretty hungry. I think I still have old pumpkin pie to eat. But let's see what Flavia happens to be. Oh, Amy, pardon me, happens to be selling today. Blueberry peafowl salad. She also has the basket bamboo rice, bathing pear, two tail lettuce wrap, ruby melon smoothly. If we wanted to trade in some of this zookeeper experience we've been collecting for some food, she would have the perfect treats. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited too. We get to decorate with flowers. That is always, always a good day uh, in my opinion. But so far, our expansion of the peafowl habitat has been going pretty well. The peafowl actually can get out somewhere. So I do have to go and pluck a couple peafowl. Oh my gosh, where are you going, Lapis? I turned my back for like one second. Sunflower! Esther seed, it's an emergency. Oh my gosh, it's not an emergency seed, birds. It is an emergency. Here, you, okay, they, they enjoy the seed. That's wonderful. All right, let's ride this way. Esther seed, quickly, we have a peafowl wandering into the, the cave system and he just doesn't even know where he's going. And speaking of the cave system, I think today to celebrate expanding the peafowl habitat, I want to add in the cascading waterfall, which would be so fun. Lapis, where are you going, buddy? You don't want to go in there. I have no idea what's in there, but you just, you don't want to go in there. All right, there you go, friend. And actually, now that I know about the glowstone, which makes me so freaking excited, I know I can use that to decorate everywhere later. Uh, give me just a second. Let's grab that glowstone die. And let's go ahead, grab this carpenter's block and I'm gonna put away the Panama Queen. And I'm actually gonna come over here. And since we need to have some glowstone glowing, let's actually imbue this piece of jungle wood. Or at least this piece of jungle wood. There we go. With glowstone, excellent. And that way we can light up our world and keep it safe while keeping it naturalistic and beautiful looking. Oh, we've got a lot to do and I've, I need to make sure that I patrol this boundary. Uh, I need to drop the path because I didn't make the path steep enough. I need to get rid of that set of doors because we don't need that set of doors. I need to move all of the dirt in my pockets because I don't need all the dirt in my pockets. <laughs> you know, this has been such a fun and amazing experience to do. But I had no idea. Oh my gosh, we were holding on to a bunch of PFL eggs. Those need traded away ASAP. But I had no idea it was going to be quite as big a project as it has turned into, but I'm very proud of it. I wouldn't trade it for the world, Aster Seed. Uh, all right, let's move these. And I have my mole fingers. So I'm actually going to put the dirt back there. All right, don't mind me, friends. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this path down by one so that it's easier to use. All right, switch this over just like so, like so. Hold it a little closer. 
And then I'm gonna move this. You are a very good bird, Aster Seed. I hope you know that. It's good to hang out with you again. And we'll put these down. Aster Seed, I do think, however, my friend, where'd the glowstone go? I thought you picked it up. <gasps> you have saddlebags! Aster Seed, friend! You could take some of all of this extra stuff. I may feed it to you, goat. If you're patient, I'll see if I have some scraps for you, okay? I'm not feeding, here. Here, you wanna have some torches? It's probably not good for you, but if you're gonna beg at the, the door like that. Uh, all right, we need to make some more carpenter's wedges so that we can bring the path down a little bit more. And then we, oh, actually these carpenter's wedges aren't gonna be needed. So we'll go ahead and move those. There we go. All right, now we're on it. And then we'll move the path down right here. Excellent. It's the little details that you kind of have to tend to. But like I said, today we will reward ourselves for taking care of the little details by making a cascading waterfall, which sounds amazing. And we'll turn in all of this stuff that we have. I think we have enough to hire the wolf researcher. We may even have enough of all of the extra things to possibly potentially uh, help our little espresso loving kitten get her reworked uh, abilities. Let's see, I don't need mole fingers. I need a normal shovel, which I don't have. All right, I think I need to go get some iron to make a normal shovel and a carpenter's. Yes, yes, and I do need a carpenter's hammer too. All right, and I do want to start picking up all of these things because they were such a cool idea for so long, but I actually love the more organic look now of taking off the pieces that surround the path and just letting the path kind of be open because the peafowl have been jumping on them the eggs have been dancing on them for so long now I think it's time just to kind of go with the flow also Tate was that you um chive seeds toss you out so I can pick up this there we go yeah, quite a bit that we're getting done in here. Like, taking off the old paths, really opening up the area. See, already our unnamed little peafowl female here is feeling better without having to try to fight for a spot <laughs> amongst all of, there we go, all of our stuff. We'll add that in. We can leave the old paths to kind of disintegrate behind us. Yeah, I like that. It was really fun for a long time and I'm really grateful back when we had the other zookeepers and, or the other Zudesia members. That was actually inspiration by one of my friends. But, I like this, this open look to it. It's a little bit unfinished on one level, but it makes it a lot more comfortable to just walk through the garden kind of aimlessly. Do I like that? Yeah, it's a huge change. It definitely is a huge change. I mean, I kind of like, oh no, maybe I want to put it back. <laughs> no, 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 no. Those are such a pain to put back. Trust me. Oh, dang it. Maybe I do want to put them back. It does kind of add an extra little touch. Fooey! Oh dear. Oh, we have made, oh no. Oh dear. Siri, you remember what a horrible, horrible pain this is to put all of these in the right direction, right? Do you really want to do this? Okay, let me think about this. It's kind of cool. But it does make it feel really claustrophobic and kind of tight. Maybe it's the flowers and the plants that do it though. If I remove the plants. I know, suddenly all of the peafowl are looking at me like, oh, she's got a fever, she's talking about removing the plants. Ah, oh, curses. I kind of like the peafowl cafe with the little guide. Huh, give me a minute. Okay, we're not gonna talk about how long that took me to put everything back where it goes. But moral of the story is, I kinda like these pads and we'll go ahead and leave them as they are for now. Ah, okay, that was a little bit of a headache, but the good news is the peafowl gave me a ton more seeds and more eggs while we were waiting, which is always a good thing. And while we're over here, I do wanna wiggle over 
And I want to be sure, I was thinking maybe we could get some slopes and put in a whole bunch of slopes right over here. And I do want to actually give Flavia her own little cafe area that will eventually lead over into the freshwater stingray spot. So I want to expand this, which means we're going to need more of the oak leaf hedges. We also have a really friendly parrot. No baby. But we have a really friendly parrot over here who I was thinking of maybe sticking in that tree and putting uh, one of the animal territory barriers around to see if they'll stay there. And hello, a little unnamed peafowl. We'll have to give you a name sometime soon. You're hanging out here with Peach, huh? Maybe we'll give you like the name Daisy. That would be cute. Uh, but yeah, I think if we put a whole bunch of slopes in here and then if we raise the dirt up over here, then we'll be able to have like a nice little cafe spot that overlooks the mushroom of all things. But what I really want it all to overlook, and what is really kind of part of the point of this whole process, are the waterfalls. I want there to be cascading waterfalls. Coming down, Aster Seed. Here, let's get up here so we can see it a little better. Coming down from the side of these icy cliffs and going into the river. So I think what I want to do now is try to get ourselves that river started because that's going to be a lot of fun. And I want it to go past Cascade the sheep. And I kind of want to dye Cascade blue. I haven't seen a blue sheep in ever and I think it'd be fun to have a light blue ice sheep standing next to the waterfalls that we will have tumbling from the cliffside. I know, doesn't that sound really cool, Esther Seed? All right, man, this project has expanded in scope immensely since arriving here, but I think we'll be able to handle everything. I'm gonna need some iron. Always a little low on iron. Guys, Cassie just, Cassie, are you quitting? <laughs> I promised her I would give her a window and I haven't been able to give her a window and I think Cassie just noped out of here. What? Cassie, come back! We need you! You're the only keeper of the peafowl we have! Oh, you were just harvesting some of the lettuce. Oh, thank goodness. I was I was about to freak out. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, my keeper just, just walked out. Alright, okay. All right, I think she's a little irritated. I have not put in the, um, I have not put in the promised window so that she can see out into the world. I'm working on it, Cassie. <laughs> Let's go ahead and trade with her. A whole bunch of peafowl eggs. I think we're almost to the point. Oh yeah, with the, oh yeah. With the peacock feathers, we definitely are to the point where hopefully we can go ahead. There is the garden. There is the lettuce. I think we have enough to be able to hire the wolf researcher, which I know is going to make you guys so freaking excited. Sunflower, come along. You're a little bit in the way, my dear. So exciting that you and Astro Seed get to have uh, reunited for a bit, though. Man, we have expanded so much. I am so proud. All right, let's get this out of the way. Nice, nice, nice. And come on in. Jim, hey! Okay, where did I put... Ah, I actually left all of the zookeeper experience with Aster Seed. I needed room when I was putting the path back down. Oh my goodness. Aster Seed, if I may. Aster Seed? Oh, it was Sunflower. <laughs> Thank you, Sunflower. I was just in a rush and I grabbed a chocobo and started shoving things into the chocobo saddlebag. All right, there. Wolf researcher? Uh, this is so exciting. I feel like I really have been working non-stop in my zoo to try to make this work. <gasps> yes! We can hire a wolf researcher! Yes! And we can also do a retraining classes so that our little kitten will be able to serve up cappuccino like she wants. <gasps> That's so fun! We'll have to give her a little coffee garden nearby. That'd be precious. All right, guys. That makes me happy. Let me eat a little bit of my ex essence berries so that we'll have enough experience to tell Jim what we want. And Jim, we want retraining classes. So we want coffee classes for kitten. There we go. And then we have a wanted ad. Oh dear, I need more experience. That's fine. 
it'll be fun to put these away and have memories of when we earned our way to adding more people to our zoo. Wanted ad, wolf researcher. Oh, Jim is gonna have a good time going through the comments in the patron list to see if anyone wants that position. So now we have ornithologist, lumberjack, deer researcher, and wolf researcher, all of whom we can hire now at the Red Wolf Redwood National Sanctuary. And we have coffee classes for little Lanite the kitten so that she will be able to serve cappuccino, which has been like one of her life's goals. So huzzah, gem, high five. I am feeling this. I am so excited. I also have more zookeeper experience right there and more right here that we could definitely use. Oh, all right. Is it becoming night? Do I need to sleep? It's getting foggy. It gets foggy. It is slowly becoming night. We'll go ahead and we will take a nap over here. All right, I think next step is to pop up to the house. I wanna get some buckets. I wanna get some iron, if I have a lot of extra iron. A carpenter's hammer, so that I can put some carpenter's hammers in here at the very least. Basically a big old block of iron. We always need iron for something and I never have it when I need it. So we'll grab iron. Hello everyone, where are you going, hmm? There's so much new room for you to roam. Let's actually move, you know what? All of you need to scooch a little. You have plenty of room. There is no need for like the, the fussiness that I see in the background there. Come on everybody. There's plenty of new room. Titus, I understand that you're very territorial of this section. But all of the rest of you have this huge new yard that's PFAL perfect. There. I think this will start help. Lapis is territorial of the spot, but this male is not. Apollo is also territorial of these spots. But there we go. See, Cassie? We can already help them. Perfect. And at some point we will find Tata and we will put him in his temple area. There. I think that this is, there you go guys. This is much better. They'll have a lot more space over here. Ooh, an egg. Definitely want that. We just want to make sure that they don't escape and that we can make this a little nicer for them. But to do that, I also need a shovel, which comes back to the big old chunk of iron, which comes back to iron for buckets, which comes back, uh, Astro Seed, do you wanna go with me? Which comes back to making cascading waterfalls. <laughs> I don't think I will finish all of the projects I wanna do to upgrade peafowl gardens at once, but we can definitely train the kitten. We have now freed the peafowl, and at the very least, we can get the cascading waterfalls installed, which sounds awesome. All right, come along, Astro Seed. Thankfully, home is not far away. We have accomplished much. I am extremely excited to see as we are able to hire new people. We'll stay a day with Lanite so that she can show off her new cappuccino cooking abilities. Oh yes, and I will grab glass. Lots and lots of glass. <laughs> so that I can make, haha, the borderless glass. That's what I was gonna go for. Hmm. Should I put in the borderless glass? Or should we do glass panes? Or should we do like some green stained glass? I think actually some green stained glass would be really pretty in that spot. So let's take some green stained glass. Uh, maybe a couple of it? Why not? I think that I think it'd be kind of pretty to put some green stained glass in with the hedge fencing here and there so that people can see into the gardens, but still kind of keep that mystique of the garden look. And then let's grab ourselves a block of iron. Assuming I have iron. Hmm. I mean, I do. I do. I have a lot of iron. We'll be okay. We'll take 12. There we go. Do I have a bunch of buckets? I have a bunch of buckets. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and take a bunch of buckets. Uh, there we go. I should be fine with all of these buckets. Oh dear. Here, we'll leave these sculpture pieces. I don't need to take those with me. Take the dirt. Um, something was growling in my house. That's fine. We're going to ignore that for now. There we go. Maybe put the lettuce away for just a second. So that's four buckets. That should... 
probably be enough. But let's take six buckets. <laughs> Just so we can really, really, really get the... Get those waterfalls started. Alright, Aster Seed. This is ridiculous and out of order from how I would normally very tidily try to plan this. But I want to make some cascading waterfalls. Oh yeah, and I was going to make that sheet blue to celebrate. Do I have anything... Swamp flowers? Will you turn into blue dye? Let's see. Light blue dye. We would need blue orchids. I'm pretty sure we can dig ourselves up a blue, a light blue flower somewhere. That's not going to be too much of a problem. Uh, so, Aster Seed. My pockets are full of buckets. They're full of eggs. They're full of flowers. They're full of, of scraps of things that we don't need. But let's move Tate's backpack. But I think we can do this. Okay, guys, something tells me this isn't the best idea, but I, I, I would love to see some progress. So let's throw this sculpture piece out. And hmm, I don't have feather falling on these boots, so I will want to be careful. And let's fly up. And right here seems like a good spot. All right, careful, Astro Seed. And I'm gonna wiggle down here a little bit. We're just gonna dig straight into the side and make a waterfall. Cascading! Look at it, it's going down! It's going down, I can see the pee fall from here and now they can see the waterfall. All right, let's make it a little bit bigger. I'm sure this is fine. I'm sure everything is fine down below. Uh, let's make it bigger. There we go. This will be great. I'm absolutely sure nothing- like, this isn't upsetting the ecosystem in any way. Alright, alright. More water buckets. Come on, Aster Seed. We'll- we'll look at our handiwork in just a minute. Alright. Let's come right here. There, there, there. That's a good spot. Alright. Easy there, Aster Seed. Let's dig ourselves a little hole. There we go. And then one right over here. And then we'll add one on top. So, boom, boom, boom. Ha ha! All right, so how do we do? <gasps> wow! Holy days! <gasps> wow! The whole mountain is covered in water. When I was thinking cascading waterfalls, I was not thinking like, like this, but this is beautiful. Wow. Okay, that was such a great idea. <laughs> it went a little bit more wild than I expected, um, but we can imagine this is all the meltwater coming off of the ice on top. It's definitely a lot more than I anticipated. I was thinking it would be like a polite little waterfall, like the things that come off of the Mushroom Island. But no, no, it went, it went pretty wild. It really went for it. Look at everything that's going on down there. Let's pop down and see what's happened. I, I think Cascade the Sheep was cascaded, but we can replace him like right there and maybe find a nice blue flower to like make him light blue. Oh my gosh, this goat is having a field day just eating everything. Little goat. Here, have some beans. Tata, how did you, of all of the peafowl, manage to wiggle your way out? Oh my goodness. All right, well, we got Tata of all of the peafowl that escaped. But how is the rest of this? This goat is just having a complete field day cleaning this up. And there's Cascade the sheep. All right, come here, Cascade. Oh, he's the mountain sheep! We already gave him a name! Mountain sheep, let's put you back where you belong. All right, hang in there. There you go, buddy. Sorry about the whole, like, the whole turning half your mountain. Oh my gosh. Mountain sheep! <laughs> mountain sheep! I got you! <gasps> All right, how about this? Is this a better spot? Okay, he's happy up there. Wow, okay, I love the cascading waterfall look. Um, didn't expect it to transform the mountain quite as much as it did. I had plans to add like 
a couple more like over here maybe one little one there i was thinking and really we'll have to definitely fill the river up ourselves to make the river something but i oh there goes mountain sheep again all right he's in the cascades now and I guess that's what we can call these. So I think we should probably make a couple more cascades, actually. Because <laughs> they're kind of amazing. Um, ah, they're, they'd be huge. But that would be such an amazing feature to just know that these are like the Cascade Mountains. So Cascade Waterfall Mountains. All right, so let's land over here. Come on, Sunflower. Or excuse me, Astro Seed? Astro Seed. And then let's gather up water from here. And let's try this out. Let's do a little bit more. I know, Astro Seed. It's kind of it's kind of ridiculous. Also, could you hold on to all of these things that are in the way of me being able to comfortably uh, comfortably? And Tata, we're gonna have to put you away. All right, there we go, Astro Seed. Let's do this. I want to create the cascades, the cascade waterfalls, and we'll have this one come up right here. I could try to control the direction that it falls in a little bit more. No pun intended. We could try to make it a little bit less of a gigantic, huge, took over half the mountain waterfall. But I think I've fallen in love with the unexpected beauty we have created. So we'll carry on. All right, I'll do this. Make one up there, like so. Another one over here, like so. All right, you guys ready? Let's try this. Boom, boom, boom. All right, come on, Astro Seed. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I love how we directed it a little bit more. Look at how the tree stopped it. That's so pretty. Wow, okay, that's really cool. I really like that one being a little bit different. All right, we've got one more to add, friends. I think we're gonna go for hopefully something big over here. And I'll try to direct it a little bit. Punch some dirt there. All right, hang on, Astro Seed. We're gonna go ahead and clear this out of the way with our Silk Touch pick. And then I sort of want it just to be a little wild here. So we'll do one there, one there, and one there. I know, right, Astro Seed? We'll just have to see what we get. Here, we'll put this one a little bit lower to make it more organic. Ready? This is gonna be a little tricky. Out of all of them we've done. Okay. Then one. Okay, come on, Astro Seed. Astro Seed! Woohoo! Okay, that's exciting. Two. I think we picked the waterfall back up by accident. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. One, two. There, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. And just down into the river. I don't know why I took so long to do that. It was something I was thinking about for a long, long time to say that like the glaciers were melting up here. We might like line the edges of this area with ice up top so you can really get the feeling that the ice is melting off the top of the mountain. But that is really something beautiful. Let's come down to admire our handiwork. Very nice. Behold, my friends, the Cascade Waterfalls, which will eventually fill up this river that will take me a long time, and don't worry, I'll handle that off screen myself because that will be a bit of a pain. And uh, we'll make this very beautiful. But I think we have done a lot of upgrades to the Peafall Garden now. We have literally surrounded its backdrop. Like, that's a beautiful backdrop now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have surrounded it with gigantic waterfalls. We have given the Peafall more room to roam, including Tata the Peafall. So they no longer have to be stacked on top of each other. They have a lot more room where they can relax. Let's put Tata away in his temple. Oh, look, some of his people have already... Oh, gosh, you're going to try to escape, aren't you? We already have a couple of his followers who have followed him all the way to the temple already. Oh, this is delightful. And we have the Moon Room Queen to add in a little bit more light there. And where do you think you're going, Missy? I don't think so. I know what that's all about. The vines. There. 
Anything else? Okay. All right, well, we have a few more things that we want to improve around the Peafall Garden before we leave it in its vastly improved, but not 100% finished state. And that is namely working with our adorable little kitten friend and making sure that Lanite feels like she can make all of the cappuccino that she wants and that she hopefully has a really delightful time in doing so. And that Cassie will be able to, she's talking about the eyes on the back of Peacock Tails, that Cassie will be able to have a great view from where she's at too. So, oh you guys, those, those beautiful waterfalls. That's awesome. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our Cascade Mountain Waterfalls. We will line the top with glacier ice in the future. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!